As you recall in the previous training video, there are three calendar types. There's the project calendar, the resource calendar, and the task calendar. At the very least, you want the project calendar because, well, that's the standard default for working and non-working times for the task within your project. For example, my project calendar has us working Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 with an hour lunch. Now, if there are exceptions to the resources that will be assigned to the task, like they're not going to be available during those uh, default working times, then you can go ahead and create a calendar for the resource that allows them to go ahead and work on that task during the uh, non-default working times for the project calendar. So the resource calendar will always take precedence over the project calendar because I may have a resource that says I'm not available until uh, 6 o'clock after we close at 5. Then you have the uh, task calendar that you can create which will override both project and resource calendars. For example, when you assign the project calendar, it assumes all the tasks within the project are going to be, well, during those times, the working times from 8 to 5. But if I have one task that's not going to be available to work on until after the uh, standard uh, project time, then I can go ahead and create a calendar for that task and again it will override both the project and resource calendars. Now in this training video I'm going to show you how you can create and assign a resource calendar to the resource and that resource that's not going to be available during the typical working times Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 or maybe they are but only at certain times throughout the year. So to go ahead and create that resource calendar that again will always take precedence over the project calendar then let's go over here and right click on the view bar and go to our resources which can be found in the resource sheet view. Actually when you create a work resource with the type work, not material or cost, project will automatically create a calendar for that resource. How do I know? Well let's go ahead and try it. Let's create another resource. Hit the tab key automatically assigns it the type work so if I come up here on the project tab to the properties group and click on change working time which is the command to create a new calendar or to make changes to a calendar that's been created. Go ahead and click on it and hey, there it is. Uh, another resource calendar has been created and its base calendar is a copy of the project calendar so everything that was in the project calendar gets copied over like the times that were not working, uh, Saturdays and Sundays and also, let me go ahead and click and drag this up, go back to 2010, oh, it went too far and if we scroll down to, oh, there we go We've got Labor Day off and of course the other days off like Thanksgiving and also Christmas here or the couple of days before Christmas. So if I go ahead and click cancel, let me click on the row header to select the entire row, hit the delete key to get rid of that resource. In this example I want to go ahead and change the admin assistant 2's calendar to show that they're only available in the mornings and maybe during the times or during the months of October and November or the last half of October. So to go ahead and set this up, just double click on the resource here, Admin Assistant 2, and come over here and click on Change Working Time. Now the difference between this one and coming up here and clicking on Change Working Time here is that you can't change the resource. I can't go from Admin 2 to some other resource. So just you know, be aware of that when you open up and change the working time in the resource sheet view by double clicking on it here. So what we need to do is come over here to the work weeks and the default uh, work week is from 8 to noon, 1 to 5, but they're not available from 1 to 5, so I come over here with the default selected and click on details. And then we select Monday, hold down the shift key and select Friday, so it's Monday through Friday. Come over here to set the uh, days to these specific work times. And I can go ahead and click and drag and delete 1 to 5. And I can even manipulate these numbers and say, okay, it's going to be 8.06 a.m hit the tab key, but well, I'm just going to leave it as 8 a.m. hit the tab key, okay? And then just go ahead and click OK, and there you go. In fact, if you come up here and click on uh, any day, uh, working day that is, you can see even in the year 2013 that that resource is only available from 8 to noon. Having said that, when you assign this resource to a task, when you say that they're giving 100%, that means for this resource, their 100% is only 4 hours, not 8. So in other words, if the resource availability is not set here, then when this resource is assigned to a task, project will assume that this resource availability includes a full 100% of an 8-hour work day and not a 4-hour. So to get 8 hours out of this person, we have to go above 100% to 200%. We have to double from 4 to 8, okay? And we'll talk about that a little bit later, but they're part-time. So I can go ahead and click OK. So you can go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and scroll, 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 or better yet, just go ahead and type in the date. Let's see, available from. Let's see, hit the tab key, come over here to 
hit the tab key, and there we go. So they're part-time in the mornings, only for four hours when they give their 100%. And I can't schedule them before October the 15th or after November the 30th because project will give us a flag saying, hey, they can't work during these times, so don't try to schedule them. And then, in fact, if we'd like to kind of flag us about uh, this particular uh, resource, come up here, click on the Notes tab, come down here and type in a note that says, okay, given enough notice, this resource can work afternoons instead of mornings. So when I click OK, you get a note over here. So when you schedule this resource, and we'll talk about this later, when you schedule them and it's more than what they can handle, like instead of working four hours, we have this resource assigned eight hours, they'll be over allocated. That's too much for them. They can't work more than four hours, so it'll flag us, in which case we can go, hmm, that's odd. I thought all my resources work full time, or maybe you don't even know that, so you can come over here and hover over the note and say, oh, given enough notice, this resource can work afternoons instead of mornings. Okay, what's the deal? Let's go ahead and double click to open it up and go to the general tab and find out, okay, can't schedule them outside of that. Let's click on change working time, go to the uh, default here, and you can see, well, you can just select it up here and take a look at what their default hours are, okay. And then, of course, you can go ahead and make the changes. If they give you enough notice, then you can come in here, make those changes so you don't get a red flag that uh, tells you the resource can't work those days or during those times. Because if they change on the fly, then you can come in here and change it as well to reflect when they're available. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.